Chandler Jones now, we're finding out, might be in the middle of a situation with the Raiders. What? This Weird. has not been talked about at all. Obviously, Chandler Jones is this guy who's just a specimen, comes yeah. from a family of a specimens. Specimen. You're talking about the greatest fighter of all time is one of his brothers. His little brother, Arthur Jones, won a Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens. He is just an absolute freak show and has over 10 sacks in like the last 15 years straight. Yeah. That's just how he does it. He's posted some shit on his Instagram stories that made us go, wait a minute. Going on. What's there? going on? What is going on over there? They won't let me in the building, though. Trying to provoke, a, and I would assume there's a word there hmm. that I cannot say. Right. Oh, okay. I, you know what? You know what I'm talking now about. Now I do. Yeah, I thought it was just blank. <laughs> like you fill it in. Oh, he was like, "Hey, uh, whatever you're thinking." Yeah, Mad yeah. libs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. I think it was probably. You know what he said. I what, know what he said, but yeah. what? What well, was it? not trying to provoke a. In a guy? Oh, oh, what was that? What? A N word. No! no. A, that's that's not, what you think that said? That's definitely that's what okay. it is, buddy. Whoa! I thought it said guy. Yeah, no, me too. Both guy. Guy. Me too. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't, wanna, I don't want because I don't want him the to be hell? offended by me saying he's just a nah. normal guy. Right. Because yeah. he's not a normal guy. No, I don't not. Form, I know Dude. exactly what he's saying. Trying to hold on, hold on. So you're telling me he says, they won't let me in the building, though. Trying to provoke a... No. Whoa. Whoa. That's what you said. Okay. What? All right. Mm -hmm. That's good journalism. Okay. Yeah. People say we don't have that. Got to the bottom Didn't of it. See yeah. that. So quickly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you can't see it. Yeah. They, yeah. Well, in the it, it just it looks like it's four letters, like dog. Not not anything with a that has, W and a G. Yeah, yeah, not anything that has more than four letters. Yeah. It's All right, well, now that's figured out. I guess what he's talking about, though, is there's some sort of situation going on with the building and Chandler Jones not being able to get in, not being able to get a hold of somebody, not being able to talk to somebody. 20 hours ago, though, he, he posted that he got them both Tom Ford sunglasses. Yes. yes. Both Josh McDaniels and the general manager. So I have no idea if they're in the middle of a negotiation and, like, things were going good. We almost got a deal done. Let me go get some shades. And all of a sudden, things went bad. Mm. I don't know if there's actual personal petty beef going on. I don't know if something happened quickly, like what allegedly happened with Darren Waller and Josh McDaniels, where Josh McDaniels gave away, I think, allegedly, where Darren Waller and Kelsey Plum sure. were getting married. Yep. And they were like, we hate this guy. Mm -hmm. This is not how this is going to go down. I, this is a very interesting thing that just... Fuck it. I don't want to play for the Raiders <laughs> if that's my head coach or GM. I want Patrick Graham. Ivy League. Whoa! Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That might have been it. <laughs> With the yeah. salute emoji. Five yeah. letters. You, you just you were doing the math there. You were doing the math. Yeah. So you thought it was four. You misread it. Yeah, you did. Buddy. It was five letters. Yeah, yeah. that's what. But anyways, what is it? What? And I would like to ask the Raiders people. We understand that we have an East Coast bias, and the Raiders, the only conversation we genuinely had was about Jimmy G not being healthy enough to fulfill his obligations as a starting quarterback for their team. And then Devontae Adams said, I don't know what the hell they're doing over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a whole that's that's some negative stuff. We apologize for that. We hope you have a great year. Josh Jacobs is back. That's good news. Yeah. But this particular case, I did not know this was happening. Did anybody know this was taking place? And what do we think is popping off, Adam? Uh, it came out of left field, but he is – Pissed about something. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't and I don't know how this is it a deal money thing? He, he said he won't let him in the building. Good. Yeah, that's what doesn't make sense. And yet, to Dixie's point, like he's been paid a couple times. Is this possibly just McDaniels as a head coach isn't as successful as before? Because this is his second stint, and again, it's going sour. I honestly, when I first saw it, I was like, uh, Mark Davis forgot to pay the electric bill again, that's and his <laughs> key fob didn't work, and it's just like, what the fuck's going on? But mm. really. You know, got to go to dinner, guys. I, Bingo. And he forgot to pay the electric bill. Because out in Vegas, there's a lot of five-star restaurants, so he's yeah. going to have to go to dinner a lot. Exactly. Yeah. Well, they've got a lot of rain recently, so maybe Al was dealing with some flooding at his house. And he probably pays Al. the cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. Al's <laughs> passed away. Al's, Al's, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. Al's Al's speaking about Davis, Michael Lombardi will be joining us in about five minutes. Hell yeah. Sure. And I believe he worked he probably for probably pays him. the cell phone bill, though, for the GM and for... The head coach too, so maybe that's the issue why they're it's not. It's been tough to contact them. Yeah, so I do sense. love the fact, and Raiders fans are going to hate this, that immediately upon something like this happening, we go, "Oh, the ineptitude of the building mm -hmm. is what is the actual problem here," because that could be the case. But also, why would this be a case? Josh McDaniels doesn't feel like a guy who would ever want his players not to get extra working. No, right? 
Yeah, definitely that, not. That would be the complete opposite of what we think of Josh McDaniels. Yes. I think Josh McDaniels is known for a lot of things. I think being an asshole is one of them. And normally it's like work, 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 not be a human, work, work. Can't communicate with people. Can't let people know your actual feelings. Can't get something point across without coming across as just like a robot. I think that's what people think of Josh McDaniels. Mm -hmm. Now, he and Tom Brady had a great relationship, but he is a head coach with Denver did not end up well. Nope. I mean, then there was other things and situations. Now he's out here. So it's like him wanting to get extra work feels like a weird thing yeah. for him to, to, to get mad about. But if that is the case, hey, let that guy work. Let yeah. work. It was Labor Day yesterday. Yeah, yeah. he wanted to work on okay, it. Let a guy work exactly. if he wants to work. Please. And, and let Chandler know we're on your side. If you want to get better and they're not letting you, fuck them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also, let's bet against a team that's not letting anybody get better. 100%. Right. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue. Agree. You have to. That's how we had to think about the Bengals for a while when they didn't have an indoor facility. Yeah. It's okay. like guys don't really want to get extra work whenever it's four degrees and maybe it's snowing sideways. Mm -hmm. You think guys want to go get extra work out next to that fucking road? Or you, you think maybe they'll say, yeah, tomorrow. We'll see if the weather's better. Where guys who have an indoor facility are like, I'm going to go run 30 extra routes. I'm going to go hit this thing. I'm going to go do this because I have the opportunity. It's here. So if Chandler Jones wants extra work, they won't let him go. What? What are they doing? Is this the pros? Is, it the, is this the highest level? What are we doing? The timeline makes no sense either. Like, how right. could, like, if they were negotiating for a while, you would think that we would have heard about this a little sooner as opposed to, like, he's going and buying them very nice sunglasses from Tom <laughs> Ford. And then the next day, he's like, fuck these guys. I don't want to play here anymore. Like, that just, that makes no sense. And you would assume McDaniels, like, he was the OC, but, like, they spent time together in New England, too. So he's, yeah. he's, no, he says in one of those posts, like, Hey, I've known this. Uh, I've known my head coach and GM for a long time. Like they've known me since I was a kid. So it, it's weird that things would go sour so quickly. Yeah, I don't. I, I hope everything's okay. Mm -hmm. Right, right at this for season. sure. We only got four or five days for the game. Yeah, and they traded for him too. Yeah. Like they they went out and got him from Arizona. That was one of their first moves, I thought. So this Chandler Jones stuff ends up on his Instagram story, and obviously we've been talking about defensive drama. You know, you got Bosa, you got Chris Jones, you have Wilkins having a thing, Brian Burns in Carolina. Now Chandler Jones' name has popped into the stratosphere because of an Instagram story, and this popped up about him not being able to get in and do extra work, and the text message, I don't know who he's texting there, but there's uh, certainly some interesting messages <laughs> yeah. from top yeah. to bottom there. But then you look 20 hours ago, he was buying Tom Ford sunglasses for the head coach and the general manager on his Instagram story. Do you know anything about this, and what could this be about, and how do we get here? We had no idea there was anything brewing. In, in, uh, you know, I didn't have any idea there was anything brewing either, and I usually talk to my son on the way to work in the morning, and of course, he does only tells me about the grandchildren, so I don't hear about much of what's going on in the building. I, I can't tell, but here's what I do know. I, I think everybody's waiting for Nick Bosa's contract to get done. Because it's going to set off a lot of interest in terms of where this is going. We know T.J. Watt got $28 million a year. He got as close to Aaron Donald as you can get. He got $80 million guaranteed. Miles Garrett's at twenty-five. So I think what all these ends are waiting for is the reestablishment of the market for Nick Bosa. Now, the Chandler Jones one, sometimes uh, it, it never always goes as planned with Chandler Jones. So you always have to be a little bit wondering what's happened because one minute he was happy, yesterday, he, today he's not. Yeah, it's fascinating. We hope everything's okay, too, because you also have to think, like, maybe he's just going through something right now right. Yeah. Sure. where he's pissed off, sure. so we hope yeah. he's okay. Not that that could be the case, and maybe there's this whole story that we had no idea was brewing behind the scenes, and we hope everybody ends up with everything they want. Exactly. Good luck.